Today's Skull and Bones video is all about the snow. The snow is the tank ship currently in Skull and Bones, and I'm going to show you the build, and then I'm going to show you how long it can survive against the toughest raid boss in the game. Spoilers, you can live indefinitely. So here's what I'm going to be using. I'm just using a, a Royal Custodian. I am not using the Black Prince. The Black Prince would be better for this, but I'm using it on another ship. So we're going to go with Royal Custodian. Now, of course, once we have... The uh, Season 1 monster unlocks, we're going to be able to get the Ouroboros, which is even better for tanks. But for furniture, we're using the water tank for the stamina depletion minus 50% and bracing stamina recovery 20%. Then we're going with sterile gallery for maximum stamina increase. We're also going with double planked hull for just more HP. And finally, we're doing rum pantry for stamina recovery. For our food, we will be using Ragout, which uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Let me start getting, go ahead and go towards the Opwelling. The Opwelling is currently the strongest enemy in the game, and uh, it is just right over here starting in 40 seconds. I'm going to be a little bit late now. I should be the only person coming to this thing, because this thing just completely dumpsters and deletes people. It just absolutely kills ships. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat this Ragout, and you'll see that there's like a little shield. This one also, uh, very B Manaka, is also decent. But um, this one lets you self-heal more, but there's less stammer again. I like Ragout. I think Ragout's the best food for tanks. And so now we are raid buffed and ready to go. Now, the cool thing about the snow that does the game does not tell you is that if you are sailing into wind, you don't get slowed by the wind. You'll still see the animation, but if you are sailing directly into wind, it doesn't slow you down. It's a really nice perk to have. I'm going to be using basic plus 45 stamina food. Uh, also, my weapons, I forgot to show you my weapons. They're just uh, the Dardanelles on all sides. That's the highest DPS weapon currently in the game. And yeah, so that's that's what I'm using. Anyway, let's go to the Op Welling now, and we're going to see how long we can live. Now, the Op Welling consistently mortars us, and we don't have the best mortar protection. Uh, that would be explosive armor, which is uh, the Black Prince currently has the highest there, but... You're going to see that because we're a tank ship, we take less damage, we have more HP, and our bracing meter s drains less stamina. It's just all around really, really good. And we can hurt the off welling, but unfortunately, as a solo ship, I can't kill this in nine minutes. There's no way to kill this in nine minutes solo as a tank. If I was a DPS ship, I could maybe kill it in nine minutes, but I can't survive more than two or three mortars as a DPS ship. I'll just get murdered. I'll get... Absolutely deleted. So for anyone that's even tried to challenge the off-willing, you will rem you'll just know how how quick you died. I'm also going to be switching my med kits here to the enhanced repair kit one because that's just more uh, efficient for resources. And you'll see that you just with plus 45 stam food, I can keep my stamina completely full with sails trimmed. That means going full speed. So uh, here we go. We're going to go ahead and uh, by the way, when you enter the off-willing fight, it kills two ships nearby. That's just how it is. And we, we can just straight up tank this. There we go. That's the first brace. That's the second brace. And uh, you'll notice that my brace meter is recovering while I'm bracing. Like, look, it's just going to recover while I'm blocking. And so I can just sit here and hold block indefinitely. I can just, you know, dump into the sides of it. And yeah, there we go. You know, we can eat food, get our stamina back. Because it does drain stamina while you're bracing. That's how tanks work. But essentially, I am just full braced. And now sometimes this ship will shoot its broadsides. It will it will shoot its cannons out the side. So you, you really want to stay in front of the op willing. And preferably you would want a flame ship to root it in place. But uh, I don't have any friends with me. I don't have any friends period. So um, it's just me hitting the weak points. That, there's the broadsides. And you can see here I'm already regenerating my brace meter. I have taken zero damage so far. And we just take mortar hits like they're nothing. We're about to get another broadside here. And uh, I'm actually going to let go of my brace for just a sec, let it recover that way, because it does recover faster if I'm not currently blocking. So, there we go. We took a little bit of chip damage. It's not a lot. And, uh, yeah, we can return fire, no problem. I could be actually boost out of this if I wanted to, but um, there we go. We're, you know, this thing, like, I would be dead on any other ship by now. I'm going to tell you right now. And, yes, it is just going to be firing just massively. And we'll take a full hit. No bracing. Look how much damage I take from this. So, yeah, it's quite a bit, but I'm just going to go ahead and pop a heal there. And, uh, you know, we'll have that heal back in 35 seconds. We can last 35 seconds. We can last indefinitely. The op willing can't kill us. As a matter of fact, there's nothing in this game, even a player, 
Okay, I'm actually, a player can kill you in a 1v1. I'll tell you how later in the video, because I needed to keep watching because that's how YouTube works. So, at least seven minutes, guys, please. <laughs> And um, so yes, players are able to kill a snow, and a lot of players don't know how to kill a snow. I'm going to teach you how to kill a snow, and, and as a snow, there's nothing you can do to stop a player from doing the thing I'm going to teach you. So there you go, that's the stinger to keep you watching. We're going to block that, and it's really unfair that the NPCs can just mortar you, uh, or mortar themselves basically. So every time you see that little light, like flash, that means it's about to attack you. Just a, just a heads up. Also, we got a crew attack here we can do, and that's going to that's gonna actually stun the ship during the cast animation there. I don't know why I'm calling it a cast animation. I play two in, mini MMORPGs, guys. But yeah, our brace, it just recovers on its own. There we go. And, uh, yeah, we can fire into its weak points. And, yeah, see? It's, uh, <laughs> we are just a big, beefy, hard-to-kill tank that can self-heal. And, again... Like, this thing is doing way more damage than, than some players can do. Now, the Sandbox can deal a lot of damage, uh, but you can still regenerate your brace, especially when you are food buffed in, in the way that I am. <laughs> and yes, I'm aware that I could be mortaring this thing too, right? And, you know, swinging around and shooting on all sides like that. Also, I have rammed a ship, but I'm so slow that it didn't bother him. He's also being attacked by the op willing. So yeah, I've, I've actually done, what is this, 25% of the op willing's HP just by myself. So, um, if you have some friends and you all go snows, you can kill this if you have enough people. But you would really, like, I have aggro right, right now. That means that the boss would focus on me and no one else. And you, you want a sandbuck with you, you want a healer with you, or at least a DPS to run a heal cannon in their backsides. Like, we need to make that a trend, guys. We need to make it a trend where everyone runs a heal cannon on the back part of their ship. You know, and then everyone could just heal everybody. I... I actually got healed for the first time the other day. Okay, we're at seven minutes, and uh, I think I'll tell you how to beat a snow. When you're in PvP with the snow, all you have to do is shoot the sails. When you shoot a player's sails, bracing does not protect against the damage that you take from sail breaking. And if you have the, uh, the Skurlock Long Nines, then you deal 7,000 additional damage when you break their sails. And players' sails get broken pretty easy. Uh, it, it's, uh, you know, it, it's very easy to break a player's sails. But we're gonna go ahead and block that, and there we go. So yeah, we've uh, almost got this off welling down to half HP, but uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, the, the, the ship leaves in four minutes, so we're not, we're not winning. Like, we're not gonna be able to DPS this down in time. But maybe, you know, if I, if I really attack these weak spots perfectly and swivel my ship around, you know, just like I'm doing right now, and uh, let's pop another heal and block that. Also, this ship over here is aggro to me for some reason, even though I haven't attacked it. Well, I guess it's it's on the op willings team, you know? It's like, hey, bro, what, what you doing there, dog? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, this is the op willing fight, and this is the snow. Unkillable, super tanky ship. I feel like they might nerf the tankiness of the ship. But, uh, yeah, even with two ships on me, it's, it like, they don't hurt me at all. And I don't even have the best armor. If we have... The Ouroboros armor, which you should absolutely grind for as soon as Season 1 starts. That needs to be your priority. Uh, once you have that armor, you never die because every time you brace, that's a 15% heal. Which is completely busted. I don't know how they're going to balance that. Like, So what if a player breaks your sails? If you have Ouroboros, you cannot be killed. You're just some unkillable, creepy mega ship. Anyway, I wish I had friends so we could we could do the op welling together. But, uh, you know, that's just how it is. Also, they just pop their cannons out of their little holes there. You know, they're peeking out. They're like, hey, bro, what's what you doing? Pop another heal. And yeah, we'll brace that. See, look at that. I got full brace meter. And then this, boom. Like, that takes your entire brace meter on any other ship. And then block that. See, I got two ships on me, and they can't even get me down past half. There we go. And sh fire and fire the muskets. But yeah, as a tank, we are not a DPS ship at all. Again, this is the hardest boss in the game currently. This is the hardest raid encounter. And you you could you can tank uh, the forts. Like, forts are not scary at all in this game if you are a snow. You can literally just float in the middle and kill everything. <laughs> like, And there's no time limit on forts, right? You just get swarmed by adds. So we're going to pop another heal there. There we go. Up only down to half HP. We got two minutes remaining. It's going to be able to, like, you know, in combat before we actually get to kill it. And 
just tanking all these hits, man. All right. See, now, now, if we just sit here like this and just, like, do this little pincer attack, we can fire there. You know, we can fire there. And then fire in the middle. And, yeah, we can just trade, you know, with this ship. If I was doing this the whole fight, I might be able to solo the off-welling. Isn't that crazy? Also, I just took a big hit from something. So, I'm going to fire muskets, and I can't open my inventory while I do this. Reinforcements incoming. Oh, boy. All right. What do we got? Let's just pop this and use. There we go. So, that's a big heal. We're going to brace that. <laughs> Fire! Look at events. Yeah, so this guy's summoned a bunch of ads, and I don't have any teammates to clear the ads. Now, I could always just clear them myself, right? Like, I deal a lot of damage. I have the highest DPS cannons of the game. So, uh, like, look at that. Like, th these ads, pretty easy. I just have to be able to tank them all. And yeah, no other ship is going to be able to tank all this. Also, my heal is on cooldown. And, uh,. <laughs> I should have, like, maybe stocked more of the, the level 1 heals, but it's whatever. <laughs> and there goes our brace once again. Also, there's, uh, the off seems to be healing a little bit there, too. He does have a heal buddy. And, yeah, he leaves in 30 seconds. So I can just, I can just leave. I can just leave the fight, right? I think I'm just gonna leave the fight. And, uh, let's see, yeah, my heals are still on cooldown. But because I'm leaving the fight, like, what are they gonna do, shoot at me? Okay, that's, a uh, what is that? That is a sharpshooter. Those deal so much damage. Those can two-shot players. Okay, that's a mortar blast. <laughs> Here's another mortar blast. And we're going to take some hits here. We might go down. Okay, we went down. Obviously, when all the ads are there, we're getting sniped. We're getting mortared. We did go down. But I, I bet if I had a heal up, I could have popped that. And we would have been absolutely fine. Also, with more explosive armor, it would have been fine. So, yeah, the off welling did get us as we ran away. But it's fine. Like, you could see, I, I just want to show off how tanky the ship is. And why would you use this ship? What is the purpose of it? And uh, also, we lost our food buff. So even without the food buff, you still have a lot of brace. Like, you can still regenerate that brace. But uh, yeah, that's, that, that's the snow. That's how tanky the snow is. I hope you enjoyed. And if you ever find one of these in the wild in a PvP environment and you're by yourself, shoot the sails. That's all you got to do. Just shoot the damn sails. They can't brace the damage when it, you're shooting sails. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. And leave a comment. Leave a like. Click the video on the right side of your screen. And if you don't... Oh, what's some battle that'll happen? I don't know. You'll get your blood pressure checked at one of those machines. Like at a pharmacy. And it'll say your blood pressure's high. There you go.